Hi guys, it's Sherry. I hope that you're having a fantastic day. Y'all, today we are going to do something oh so stinking cute. Stay tuned. Welcome to my channel. I am so glad that you decided to stop by and spend a portion of your day with me. Today, we are going to do something a little bit different and a little bit the same. And what do I mean by different? Well, we're going to take some of these four and a half by four and a half inch wooden planks that you can get from the Dollar Tree, and we're going to turn them into something that we always make on the channel, but this time we're going to give it a different look. Here's what I'm talking about. We're going to take these plain old four and a half by four and a half inch wooden planks and we're going to turn them into a nice little rustic notebook, album, or journal, whichever one you choose to do. So that's the same part. So we're taking something that we always make on the channel and we're adding something different to it. We make journals, notebooks, and albums, but this time we're going to use a wooden cover, giving it a nice rustic look. And I'll give you a closer look once we get ready to go over what's going to be needed. So y'all know what time it is? It's time to make it. All right guys, so here is a closer look at the project that we're going to be making today. This is a little wooden album that I'm making using the Dollar Tree wooden boards. Now you can use whatever you want for this, but I thought the wood was cute, so I decided to use it for mine. And you'll see how easy it is to work with this. So when we open it up, I just created a little mini album using Dollar Tree stickers and some lightweight chipboard. It is very, very basic. It can be an album. We can use this as a notebook or we can use it as a mini journal. Completely up to you how you would want to use it. But I'm going to show you the process for making this and you'll see just how quick and easy it is. All right, y'all, so here's what we're going to need to make today's project. I have two of the wooden planks from Dollar Tree that measure four and a half by four and a half inches and they are from the Crafter Square collection. I have two of those. And then I have a stack of papers that I have cut out. This one I am going to turn into a wooden journal. And I have about 25 sheets of four and three eighths by four and three eighths bullet journal sheets, as well as just regular medium weight cardstock pieces. And then I have some cut aparts. I have four, four by three cut aparts. I might use all of these in this project or I might use one or two. It all depends on, you know, how I'm feeling when I put it together, but I do have some cut aparts. And then to bind this, I have these coils and I will be cutting off a couple of these and I'll use that to bind my book. Now you can find these coils online or you can find them in Michaels and Hobby Lobby and places like that. So as you can see, I've laid down some black paper and I have gloves on my hand because we will be using some paint and I don't want to have to take too much time trying to clean the paint off my hands. Now I have the two boards that we'll be using and I wanted to show you guys a really quick and easy way to clean up the edges because sometimes the boards are a little rough on the edge. So if you just take a nail file or an emery board, go around those edges, you can do a nice little cleanup and smooth that out. So then once you have the board sanded, just take a paper towel so that you can clean off any dust that might be on the board. And then I'm going to just wipe the dust away from my black mat here. Now I'll take the two pieces and we're going to go ahead and paint. I am not using expensive paint brushes for this project. I'm actually using paint brushes that I got from the Dollar Tree. So you get two for a dollar, and this is perfect for a craft like this because this is a rustic craft, so we're not being too perfect on how we're doing it. The paint that I'm using, I got it from Walmart, from the Waverly Collection, and this is moss, and it's a chalk paint. And then I also got the chalk paint Waverly plaster. So I'm going to shake my paint. You can stir yours if you want but I'm shaking it and I'm sure some of you will tell me I shouldn't be doing that, but I just did it. So I'm going to place some of my paint right there. 
And then for this part of my project, I am going to basically do a wet brushing technique and that's just making sure that I have my brush saturated with paint and I am going to place it down. Set that to the side. And now we'll do the same thing here. And because I'm putting my paint on pretty thick on the first coat, I'm only going to do one coat per side. Because again, I want that rustic look with this project. So now that I have that side painted, I'm going to go ahead and just do a very light coating on my edges because actually I should have painted the edges first because that way you can see how your paint lays on the top when you paint those edges. If you do the edges first, then you can avoid having that happen. And that's exactly what I should have done, but I didn't. So now we can take that and I'm just going to put these down. We'll let them dry. You can see why I'm wearing gloves because already my hands are a mess. Okay guys, so now that we have these two done and they're dry, I'm going to go ahead and show you the technique I'm going to use on these two on this side and then I'll do the other side off camera since they need to dry as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of that plaster color, which is more of an egg white, and I'm just going to put a little bit out right here, not a whole lot. And then I'm going to take my brush and this time I'm just going to do a dry brush. Okay, I'm going to dip it in the paint. And then I'm going to take my paper towel and just remove some of that paint. And I'm going to remove almost all of the paint. So then I'll take my brush and I'll just hit it a little bit with that white until I have a look that I like. And I'm trying not to be too precise. So on my edges, I might do a little bit more. But that's the rustic look that I want. So then I'll just come back to my paper towel, pick up some more of that paint and do the same thing again. Now I'm going in one direction when I do this. And that's the look that I want. So I'm going to let this dry, let this one dry, and then I'll flip it over, paint the other side and I'll be right back. All right, y'all, I have done both sides of both boards and I have added Mod Podge to the side of one of them and this one as well. I'm going to add it to these with you guys and show you just how simple the process is. So I am just going to take a little bit of Mod Podge and just drop it directly onto my wood piece. Then I'm just going to pounce it to spread it. Then I'll pick it up and I've taken off my gloves because I don't mind this part. And then I'm just going to spread it and brush it because I want those brush strokes just like I did with the paint. And then we can just let that dry. And I'll do the same thing with this one. And I'm only going to put on one coat of Mod Podge and that time I actually placed too much on there so I'm going to remove some. And I'm going to pounce it and then I'll spread it. and I'm spreading it so that I'm going in the same direction as my original paint strokes. And now we just let it dry. All right, y'all, so now that my Mod Podge is dry on this, we can start putting our book together. I'm going to bring in my Cropodile because I'll be using my Cropodile to punch holes in this wood, and believe it or not, it actually punches these holes. It'll punch through the wood. So, so I have it set on the 3 16th setting, and I am just going to punch a hole and all you need to do is put a little bit of pressure and the crocodile will punch through this wood. This is about one eighth of an inch thick and it'll punch through it very well. So then I'll come to the other end and I'm going to do the same thing. 
you can see I have two very nicely punched holes. I'm going to take this piece and stack it on that one. Then I'll take my pen and I'm just going to draw circles so I'll know where I need to punch. And now I'll take my crocodile again, put it on that circle. I'll do the same thing with this one. So now you can see that I have holes punched front and back on these. Now I can take my papers and I'm going to punch my holes in the papers. So I'm just going to take one of my four and three eighths by four and three eighths inch pieces, put it in, use my pen to make a circle. So I'll know where it is I want to punch. And then I'm just going to punch. And then once I have my holes punched, I'm just going to put it back in to make sure that I have good placement and I do. So now I'll just take my other stacks and start punching through those as well. Okay, so now that we have all of our holes punched, it's just a matter of lining it up to see how you want it. So I'm just going to take some of my pages and just mix them in with these pieces. And I want this one to actually be at the front. So how you line it is completely up to you. So I'm just stacking these. So I do know that I want my cut aparts here at the front and one at the back. So I have my nice little stack. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this leftover coil from another project, I had some left over, and I am just going to snip off two pieces. So I'm going to go in between where we have the little line part here and use my wire nips and snip. There's one. and there's two. So these are the two pieces that I'm going to be working with. So to make this project, you don't need any type of a book binding system. You can make these nice little rustic wooden journals, albums, or notebooks using your hole punch and some coil. So this is my cover and this is the back. So all I need to do is stack these two together. Then I'll flip it over and I'll start stacking these pieces. Just making sure that I have my holes lined. And now that I have the holes starting to line up, I'm just going to take my coil and put it through like that. And then I'll take my other coil and put it through right here and then I'm just going to hold it in my hand like this. And now I'll start putting my pages in. And so you can see just how easy it is to put these pages in. And we're doing it by hand. No book binding machine needed. And so once I have all of my pieces in, I can just take these and squeeze them closed with my fingers. And just make sure you get them nice and tight and closed. And now you can open your little book. You're gonna have this rustic little journal and then you can decorate it however you want. And so now I'm just going to use these Dollar Tree stickers, grab one, Not sure which one I want yet. Believe you can and you're halfway there. Or believe or be true to you. I think I'm gonna go with believe you can and you are halfway there. Because it's nice and big and I like the way that it actually looks on there. So if you want to, you could go on the inside and place down a pocket or you can add some decorative elements 
using your cut apart. So when finished, what we have here is a nice little four and a half by four and a half journal, album, or notebook that we made using some cut up pieces of paper and two wooden planks from the Dollar Tree. So like I said earlier, you're able to make three of these using one pack from the Dollar Tree. So that is some pretty economical crafting because we don't have a whole lot invested in this, but look at what we end up with. So I am going to bring that first one back in so that y'all can see just how stinking cute these are and how crazy easy they were to make. I haven't done anything to the inside opening of these two. I might go back and do something, but for right now, I'm just going to leave them the way that they are. So guys, I hope that you have liked this project. And if you have, please hit the like button. If you are not a subscriber to my channel, I'd love to have you join this amazing online crafting family. You guys, as always, please be safe, be kind, happy crafting, and we'll chat later. Bye.